Now, a couple of days ago, you know that I came on this uh, channel. We were discussing about the aluminium alloy material that Neo not only has built, but they are now using on their 89 and the Envoy L60. I mean, as in the screen, this is the material that apparently Neo is currently using, which this alloy technology will open an entire industry to drive adaptation of high pressure casting technology with better performance and cost effectiveness this is what neo said remember someone i when i posted this video they say this is not being built by neo but built by an uh, an american company but the statement or this article that we are reading here says neo develops or neo has developed a new aluminium alloy material and they are currently using it on their 89 or for their 89 and on the L60. Now this material it is said that it is the first hardening aluminium alloy structure large castings developed by a Chinese automotive brand breaking the monopoly of the C611. This is the first hardening aluminium alloy structure large castings developed by Chinese automotive brand breaking the monopoly of 611 this aluminium alloy it is developed by neo and because of this it will improve their gross margins this is very very important because one of the things that we are seeing coming from neo is that neo wants to make sure that most of the things that they use most of the parts most of the items they use for building their cars they develop them in-house this is what the new ceo has been preaching this is what the new CEO has been saying to say that for them to get to 20-30% gross margins they need to build their own chips, they need to build their own batteries and now we are seeing them building some of the parts or the parts that they are using on these cars. Yes, we know that the motors that you find on two Neo cars, on Volvo cars, they are built by Neo, but right now Neo is taking it a step further which this is good news to the new investors because this will take Neo to the promised land. The more material, the more parts that Neo produce in house is the more gross margins Neo will be able to generate, which is something that is very important, something that is good to see the kind of progress that Neo has made thus far. So I am happy, man, and I am excited. And this talks a lot about what we can expect coming from Neo. This talks a lot about the good things that NEO is able to produce, which is something that, of course, to investors is good news, right? I mean, me, when I got to read this the, for the first time, it got me wondering what else NEO might be doing because it looks like or it appears that at the end of the day, NEO might end up producing whatever part, whatever chip, whatever. A thing they use to build their cars which is something that is very very important because like I said this will take us to the promised land this is good news for Neo this to the new investors it's just great and it it is what we want so this self hardening uh, new aluminium alloy the casting material as we read it is being utilized on to Neo's 89 and on for L60 which is great because Especially with the L60, it will really help boost the gross margins of Neo because the amount of money that they were spending or that they would usually spend to build this kind of material, they won't be spending that much money anymore, which is great and it's something that is very, very notable. So this technology, the good thing is that it will be open to the entire industry or to the entire EV industry and it will improve or bring better performance and cost effectiveness which is something that is very very good and uh, neo will be utilizing this onto their cars which is very very important i think the even the 2025 neo models that are coming will be or might be utilizing this which will be so great and so exciting amazing to see the progress that neo is making going to profitability which like what the neo ceo told us it's coming in q4 so yeah man i am happy i am excited blue sky is coming those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time i know share price wise might not be where we want it to 
but today in fact right now as i'm doing this video neo share price it's up uh, uh, 0.83 percent but neo it is the chinese ev maker doing the most because all of the other chinese makers are not doing that well but when you go to the u.s rivian lucid tesla they are all green in fact lucid for some reason today it's up 14 percent with a market cap of almost 10 billion dollars this is the market cap that is way over the market cap of neo of 8.70 billion dollars so whilst neo is priced at 8.7 billion dollars lucid is priced at almost 10 billion dollars but it's not a train smash man it's not a train smash we this should be rectified very soon by the market and we should see neo having a solid market share but lucid it is the one that is up almost 15 percent 14.4 percent today which is good for them but honestly i don't want to talk more about how lucid or why neo is supposed to be valued more than lucid i think we already know what is happening be, uh, be, behind closed doors of neo and behind closed doors i think we already know the comparison between the two companies but all i can say is that it's adjustable but hopefully this gets to be rectified as soon as possible but the, hopefully this gets to be rectified by the market that's all from me man i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey blue sky is coming long term windows that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time that's all from me and god bless you